Today we're going to be looking at a pretty popular open source audio tool, uh, Audacity, and um, it's very popular. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's got some nice features and it does have its its highlights. Uh, it is uh, cross-platform at least between uh, Windows and Linux. I'm assuming it runs for Mac too, but I haven't checked that out yet. Um, and one of the things I, that, that really bugs me about it is it has, if I go into edit preferences, uh, it asks you what interface you want to work with. And if you have Jack running, running it, it says that it supports Jack, but I can never get it to work. Uh, and that's why when I'm recording today, the audio from the program isn't going to sound very clear because I'm just recording it through the speakers to a microphone just because I can't get it to work while Jack is running. Anyway, let's jump right in here. Uh, so this is your main interface here, and this is, it does kind of like track editing, it's a wave editor. Uh, it, it, it's not to the standard of um, Ardor in, in lining up stuff and just convenience like that, but if you just need to do some wave mixing and editing for sounds or just trimming stuff up, it's a pretty good program. So I'm going to go file import, I'm going to import uh, an mp3 file. You don't want to go open because open opens a session, not a file. So basically if you're in the middle of working on something, you can save a session. But to open a file, we're going to go import and you can choose what you want to import. I'm going to just choose audio. Uh, and I'm just going to go to uh, my downloads folder and I'm going to choose a song. Uh, I'll choose this Blue Scorpion song. It's a song uh, released uh, under the Creative Commons. I'll put a link to it. I've been using a lot of this uh, gentleman. His name is Kevin. I can't remember his last name, but I'll put it at the end of the video. Uh, and he does a lot of very good uh, Creative Commons music. Uh, and so this is just one of his songs. So press play here. So we got the music going. Now, if we wanted to have it fade in, I can highlight part of this. Well, let's just trim it up some. So we can see right here the music picks up and changes. So. So if we wanted to start at that point, we can highlight this and I can just hit delete and it will delete everything before that. So I can also delete out sections so I can go like this and delete and you can see it automatically slides in there. Uh, you can zoom in by holding down control and scrolling with your mouse with the center scroll button. Uh, I can highlight a section. So I can highlight a section like this. This looks like a loop here and I can play that. Uh, by pressing play and it will just play that little section there now if I wanted so that it would fade in what I can do is I'll zoom out here so I can highlight a section so I'll just highlight the first you know five seconds or so of the song here I'm gonna go up to edit and I'm gonna go fade in now if I wanted to fade out I can do the same thing I am going to trim off this little extra piece here I'm just gonna highlight this part right here and I'm gonna say effects fade out so now if I go back to the beginning of the song, I'll click my skip to start here and I'll press play. You can see it slowly fades in. Now if I go back over here to the end, I can press play and you'll see it will slowly fade out now. Now there was a little bump at the end there and that's probably due because when I highlighted I probably missed that little section there. So if I hit control Z I can undo. Yeah you can see I missed that in the highlight. So really you can you can fade in anywhere just by highlighting a section. You can fade in or fade out. So I'll fade out that and I can even while still highlighting I can fade in and you can see it kind of now I've got a fade in fade out. If you wanted to do it that way. Now this is just an intro video, so I don't want to get into too much detail in the first video. Um, but uh, another tool here is if I uh, click on this, this is our uh, envelope tool, which allows us to control things like the volume and uh, stuff. So I can go like this, and I really like how this works because most programs will just give you the band, and you can judge how loud the volume is based on the band. This actually resizes the visual of the wave which makes it a little bit uh, clearer on the volume, I think, on exactly how you have things going. So that's another way to fade audio in and out. Uh, and it's a way that you can undo easier than undoing an effect like the fade in, fade out. Now to save the song to a MP3 or WAV file or an AUG file, we're gonna go File, Export. 
Oh, and here you can see the information of the gentleman who made this song because it's in uh, meta tags on this file already. Uh, Kevin MacLado. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's that's meta tags, which you can change if you uh, create music. When you change this, you can embed this into a audio file such as uh, MP3 or OGG file that allow tagging, and that way your information will be embedded into the music. So you can do the tags there. Uh, and then I'll click OK. And at this point, it asks you what file format you want to save at. And by default, in most cases, it will be WAV, but you should have a lot of different options here, depending on what you have installed on your machine. Uh, you'll need, for MP3, you're going to need LAME installed, which, uh, depending on your distribution of Linux, may already be installed. If not, you can install it. On Windows, you'll have to download LAME. There's directions at the uh, uh, Audacity's uh, website and uh, download it and you'll have to direct it to the lame library uh, but we'll choose mp3 here but like I said you can also choose aug or wave or a bunch of other formats and uh, we'll name it something I'll just leave it at that name I'll click save and it will save the song for us it gives you a little elapsed time and time remaining readout here as long as, as well as a progress bar now once that's done saving I can go and open that up in any music player I like. Anyway, so this was a very quick look at uh, uh, Audacity and some of its very basic features. Going to do a few more of these tutorials coming up here in the near future. So keep watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.